Alright ladies and gents, the cramp session event is here and if you have two-factor authentication you get a free legendary troll loot truck llama or something like that. I'm just hoping to get survivors, alright? Specifically survivors with the curious personality, the dreamer personality. Uh, all I want is survivors, my boys. I am so low on survivors. And I was literally just panicking right now because I have like 40 mini reward llamas and I didn't see the mini reward llamas and I thought that they all got deleted and I was freaking out so yeah I actually thought that this thing only dropped legendaries but I guess uh yeah I guess I was wrong so let's see what we do end up getting from it um okay survivor with the triangle personality I don't want that Ooh, a razor blade that I already have. Oh, oh no, this loot truck llama broke my heart, bro. <sighs> Give me a fucking copper master striver too. I don't want, I don't like golf. So, cram session. Everything that you need to know, let's get started. Let's jump right into it. Wait, the Ratatat is available? I thought this thing was gonna be available on October 3rd. Holy shit. I guess I gotta do a review on this. Okay, let's get started. Mega Base Kyle, you need to get this, alright? Like, if you don't get this, I'm sorry. You're a fucking idiot, alright? It's the best constructor in the game. The base range is extremely huge. You need to get Mega Base Kyle. In fact, I'm, ac I'm actually not gonna get him now. I'm gonna open let's open up some of these bad boys and I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this okay so what I was saying before I opened 20 mini reward llamas and got highly disappointed you need to get mega base Kyle because like I said he's one of the best constructors in the game now every single week we're going to be getting one old weapon from a previous event in the game this week is the copper pulverizer it's only gonna be in the shop till October 3rd you guys absolutely need to get this hammer. It's one of the best hammers in the game. Very, very good for constructors. It has the highest end pack, really high knockback. All of my constructor friends basically use this hammer, okay? Anyways, this is gonna be a brand new weapon and I can't tell you guys whether you should get it or not because I haven't reviewed it yet and uh, holy shit, dude, it's gonna be a while. Oh no, I wasn't able to rebuy the Reperk and the Legendary Flux, damn. Okay, I guess Epic is sort of like catching on to our tricks and stuff. Anyways, you absolutely need to buy this uh, legendary survivor here because if you don't you're a fool Okay, so let's talk about the cram session events uh, If you guys need to farm up fire up amp up or frost up to of course change the elements of your weapon We basically just have the same quest that we had during the road trip event now We have danger in the mist from my understanding, you were supposed to eliminate 100 mist monsters in successful missions and now they lowered it to 50. So basically you're going to be able to be getting reperk faster. Uh, every time that you eliminate a mini boss, something that you should know is that you're going to be able to either choose between 8 pure drops of rain, 4 lightning in a bottle, and of course uh, 2 eye of the storm. So that's basically really good because it basically gives you resources that you need uh, to level up uh, you know, your characters and all that stuff. And then of course we have these four unique uh, stage 10 quests and uh, as you guys can see you need to do specific things and there's 10 stages to the quest. I cannot tell you guys those 10 stages because of course I just I just got online. I, I've been pulling off an all-nighter not gonna lie a like on the video would be very appreciated. Now another thing that you guys need to keep in mind when it comes down to this cram session event is the mini boss alerts. So every time that you see this little icon on a mission, okay, it means that there is a mini boss. And as you guys can see, a lot of missions have that icon. For example, this retrieve the data mission, when you do it, you're going to get double rewards. So you're going to get two 65 perk ups instead of just one 65 perk up, okay? Before the cram session event, if you were to do this mission right here, okay, you would only get 80 perk up. But now with the cram session event, you're going to be getting a total of 160 perk up. So, long story short, uh, the cram session event is just a really, really good uh, opportunity to sort of farm up on specific things that you need to get. Like, for example, legendary perk up, re-perk, and most importantly, gold. Okay, as you guys can see, there's a lot of mini boss alerts that give you 
gold. So if you want to get gold as fast as possible, make sure that you are doing these missions that are of course offering to give you gold. So that of course you can get gold as fast as possible. And like I said, get Mega Base. Yo, if you guys don't get Mega Base Kyle, like y'all are idiots if you don't get Mega Base Kyle, I'm sorry. But that's everything that you need to know about the Fortnite Save the World cram session of it and i've been pulling an all-nighter and i'm so fucking tired so if you guys could drop the video a like for your boy that'd be highly appreciated i'll see you guys on the future with more fortnite save the world videos because i can't not believe dude that this thing came out today like i'm gonna have to grind some save the world today to push out the review for this gun i hope this gun doesn't suck either see you guys in the next one and enjoy your day